Hey, welcome back, Lego fans. This is Vicki with Brick After Brick Toys. I'm so happy you came back today. We're gonna to be looking at one of the best Christmas sets ever. This is an expert level Lego creator Santa's workshop. There's 883 pieces and this is the second half. So if you missed the first video where we put together Santa Claus in the sleigh and the elves and everything, um, we're gonna leave the description, in the description below, we'll leave the link for you. But also you can just check out our holiday playlist because all of the videos are on there. So in the last um, in the last video, we created the six minifigures. Two of them are human, Santa and Mrs. Claus. And then of course there are the four elves and they are so cool. And the reindeer, woohoo! And that beautiful sleigh, it is gorgeous. So this is well worth taking a look at the other video so you can see how to do that. And look, there's Rudolph, hi Rudolph, awesome! So that was an awesome set, totally great. So this um, this is the second half, and so you can see to the right is Santa's workshop with his office up on top, and then to um, to the left over there is the actual workshop where they have a little factory machine that helps create the toys, and you can see if you stay all the way to the end of the video, there's a little bit of a snowball fight. Okay, so here are the presents that go in Santa's sleigh. Woohoo! But you know what? I was so inspired by these four presents that I actually created a whole extra video that has like 25 Christmas presents and it's a tutorial on how to make them because you probably have all these cute little pieces and you can create some awesome fun Christmas presents and any kids that see these presents go crazy. All right, let's jump into getting this workshop going. And as you can see, the I love these creator expert sets because they have so much detail to them. And they're a little bit more tricky to put together because they have so many pieces. After all, it's over 800 pieces in this set and a lot of them are in the buildings. And as you can see, as we go along, they just have um, so many tiny pieces that that's really why it's an expert level. But when it comes together, it looks gorgeous. It looks absolutely beautiful. Here's the welcome mat. I was sad that it wasn't actually a printed piece, but I get it. It says, welcome, ho, ho, home. Isn't that funny? Um, but I get why they had to do a sticker because they're only gonna use that piece, you know, very rarely. In fact, probably just in this set. And that's fine too. All right, let's keep building. There's the little fireplace on the inside, which um, later you'll see they put like um, a family picture above the mantle, which is really cool too. It's a lot of fun. And again, look at the detail that goes into just those newel posts at the door. I mean, it just, that's why it looks so awesome. I will say that these um, buildings are fragile because they're made of so many small pieces. They're not like some of the bigger buildings that have um, a lot of huge solid pieces to them. So it, it is something that you want to think about before having small children play with these. But certainly, um, you know, anybody over the age of seven or eight is going to respect it and you'll be able to talk to them about how to do it. So uh, as we go along, you'll just see all the incredible details. And that's why this set is so amazing. And as we keep building up, up and up, you'll start to see some of the details of the snow. And it, they're so tiny, but it does like create that whole ambiance and feel of the North Pole and Christmas and snow. So especially if you don't live in a snowy area, this is gonna be a fun set for you to have. I actually um, put it on the top of a, a half bookcase at my home. And I can't even tell you, everybody who comes to see it just loves it. It's so adorable when it's all finished and set and done. Oh, there's the family picture of Santa and Mrs. Claus. So cool. So um, once it's all finished and put together, this set has so many cool things. It doesn't just have the workshop, it has the Santa sleigh and Santa is the coolest Santa minifig. I think is like the one of the best ones they've ever done. So here's the upper part of this building. Now there's two parts of the, of, of the building. There's the living room downstairs and then upstairs is Santa's office, which is cool because it's where all the letters get delivered and that's where Santa has to uh, read all those letters from all those children around the world so that he can get ready to uh, pack his sleigh and make sure that he's efficient. I don't know how he gets all those presents in that little tiny sleigh, but he does. 
So here is, here's the office. And of course he's got a cup of hot cocoa over there cause he needs a little bit of uh, something to keep him going, a little bit of sugar. And look at the details on that fireplace. I mean, look at the smokestack. It just really is amazing. So here's the chair. This is Santa's special big chair. And they did such an amazing job with this. They could have just done any silly old chair. But look at the gold filigree, and it's just really pretty. Um, whoever the designer was for this set just did an excellent job with all the details because it's in the details that it just has the magic. And I think it's really fun that, you know, just these little pieces can be put together and give, if you use your imagination, it, it looks like this really fancy chair that would be in, in someone's den. So that's Santa Claus's den. And here is part of the top of the building. And because it's so tall, sometimes I have to build things and then, um, you know, put the camera up. And there's the clock. Ooh, poor Santa, it's um, five after nine. And there's a little ladder that's going upstairs. And I thought this was a beautiful sign, really pretty. And again, the detail of the lamp and the lantern there just, you know, creates so much, it, it just creates so much ambiance. I have to say, this is not my favorite part of the building. Those roof lines are somewhat, tenuous and difficult. They're not hard to put together. It's just when you go to assemble it onto the building, they don't like to stay on very well. And so, but just to give you, here is the first half of Santa's workshop and it's the Santa section where Santa and Mrs. Claus um, do their thing. So here is the workshop where the elves do all the work. And I love this. This is such a cute little workshop and it's got some really fun features on it too. So again, it's all those details that um, really go into making these special. I mean, look at that. How, you know, it's just the, the window that goes over to the side is just amazing. And the incredible amount of detail that they put into that, just using, you know, some regular Lego pieces that you find. But by having so many of them, it creates the details. That is such a pretty window to have just in the elf workshop. I mean, that's, that's very thoughtful that the creator went to all this trouble for us to make it um, feel more real and, and to kind of give it that realistic look. And of course, we love the green and the gold and the red and the burgundy, you know, and of course the white because you've got to have all that snow, right? And there's building up onto the second level of this. It's just adorable. Oh, and we added a few more snow pieces, of course, because you have to have that look of the snow that um, clings to the eaves. If you've ever lived in a cold climate, you know this is really accurate. And again, look at the, you know, the cute little detail. And um, Santa Needs You, I love it. It's a play on, you know, the World War II where Uncle Sam needs you. Well, in this, it's Santa's workshop. So Santa Needs You. And it's a cute sticker that you put on. And, and of course, uh, then they post it in the Santa's workshop for all the elves to see that they definitely, Santa definitely needs all the elves to do their work. All right, we're putting together the desk for the head elf so that he can have some place to write. Okay, and here comes the snow pieces. And this front snow roof piece is awesome. But again, it's a little tricky. But look at the really cool Christmas lights. That is awesome, just by using one of those Lego rope pieces. I just think that's adorable. And here's the little workshop for the elves. Let's see what these elves are up to. Ooh, it looks like they're going to work faster by building a little toy machine. Awesome. This is great. This is so fun. Um, when I had some kids stop by my house, they played with this little machine because they just thought it was so cute. And if you take a look here, we're gonna put some toys on it so it looks even more, like, even more fun. It looks like a real little factory machine that the elves would be using and some little dials and, and all this fun stuff. So, doesn't that look cute? It looks like it's, it would really work in the little workshop. 
And so here are some of the toys that are gonna go on that. I thought this was really cute. Super simple, and you may even have these pieces already at your house so you can make like a little race car. How cute is that? That's a cute little race car. And what do you think this is? It's blue, it's got wings. What do you think? It's a little jet. Awesome, so cute. So now we're gonna take these toys and we're gonna put them on the factory machine, the toy, toy machine. Look at that, doesn't that look awesome? So fun. And here is, oh, here comes Santa. He's checking out the new little workshop. Santa's workshop looks amazing from the front. It has a tree and a beautiful sign. And of course, Santa and the sleigh and the reindeer are, oh, and there's Rudolph too. Oh, there's the snarky looking elf. He doesn't look very happy. He's doing all the work back there. He's not too happy about things, but let's turn this around. Oh, there's the head elf. He's at the desk taking orders and giving out orders, telling the little elves what to do. This is such a fun Santa's workshop. You're gonna have so much fun with this. And this is gonna be a great display as well. You will just love it. It'll look awesome at your house. So here's what it looks like. It's so cool. I really love the chimney also and Santa's little office upstairs. So totally cool. There he is answering all those letters. And there's Mrs. Santa Claus. She's got her cookies ready to go. There's the little tiny Christmas tree. And here's the actual elf workshop where all the work is gonna get done. And it does have a way if you want to attach it, you can do that. I actually don't do that because I find that um, the Santa's little house part is very floppy and tricky because of the roof line and that children tend to want to play with the elf workshop because it's got the little machine and everything. So I keep them separate so that, um, you know, the, so that, yeah, that's exactly what I do so that then they can enjoy it and have a lot of fun. Oops, oh, I promised you a snowball fight. <laughs> the snarky elf is not happy. They left him in the back to do all the work. So he is basically having a snowball fight and oops, uh, I got involved too because it was too much fun. Here's our little snow Christmas village and how awesome does that look? So you can see the mini train and the town square set and there's the Santa's toy shop in the background with a big tree. So we're definitely going to be leaving the links for you, especially in the holiday playlist. So we will leave it in the description below, but please like and share our videos so that more people can enjoy Legos, especially the Lego Christmas sets are amazing. Have a great holiday and thanks for watching Brick After Brick Toys today.